like many medical students, radiation oncology really goes under the radar and many physicians don't even know what we do in radiation oncology. And it wasn't until I rotated through in my third year, I went to medical school here at UC and there's an elective that our department runs still where medical students will rotate through um, all different cancer subspecialties, so medical oncology, radiation oncology, surgical oncology. And you get a flavor then of what each individual does. And I knew immediately that I wanted to be a part of cancer care. I really enjoyed the interactions with the patients and the doctors, the, the longitudinal care. You get to see these patients through a very rough patch in their life, and many of them do well. And patients who don't do well, you're still able to offer them meaningful services and help them. Um, but there really is a patient interaction that I enjoyed most. And you could, on a day-to-day, -day, you're seeing patients that are newly diagnosed, uh, right about to embark on treatment. You're seeing patients who may be 10 years out, and then you're seeing patients right in the middle of treatment. So that variety um, is really appealing. And, uh, again, just seeing these patients through um, a really difficult time in their life, you get to really interact with the whole family. Some patients, if they have eight weeks of radiation or six weeks of radiation, you're seeing them once a week, so you get to really know people pretty well. I really enjoyed that. In part, part of my uh, decision to come back to Cincinnati was uh, the trajectory of the department, trajectory of the cancer center overall. Lots of opportunities here for uh, advancing cancer care and uh, providing excellent clinical care, which is all of which I was really interested in. So proton therapy is a type of radiation. There's many types of radiation, but for therapy purposes, for cancer patients, we use most commonly photon radiation. A photon and a proton are different particles. A proton is a charged particle. So there's different properties in tissue in patients and because of those properties we're able to shape the, the beam, shape the dose a bit differently than we can with photons. And it's not for every cancer, but for some patients there are some advantages with the um, geometric distribution of the radiation dose. And it, it's predominantly to um, spare normal tissues. And so the, the main clinical benefits or main indications would be for limiting side effects in certain disease sites. And we're a little bit different though, I think, here. We're really, really trying to be good stewards of this technology and we have you know, clinical trials where we're really trying to critically evaluate the protons and whether it is better than our conventional treatments. And, and some of those are national trials that we participate in. Some of them are our own trials. But that's really the only way you can definitely know that treatment A is better than treatment B is if you have the um, evidence to back it up. So.